Are you good? You look good. I got dressed for the show. You see this? You see this? You see this? You see how the black matches with the black in the sneaker and the gray matches with the gray? Because I'm a black guy. That's how we dress. <laughs> White guys don't dress like this, okay? White guys dress like they're going to help a friend paint an apartment <laughs> or move to a new house all the time. Look around, look at some of the white guys. Look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. You didn't even try, look at that. <laughs> if I had that outfit on, I'd have a box in my hand, like, where's this going, the kitchen? <laughs> That's how we dress. That's how they dress. White guys, white, black guys do it, overdo it, though. Black guys overdo it. Black guys get too dressed. They get too dressed. You know, the difference is the white guy's always the rich one, too. Black dude having a million dollar outfit, five dollars in his pocket. <laughs> white guy having a five dollar outfit, million dollars in the bank. If it was a black millionaire sitting amongst us right now, everybody would know it. Everybody would know it. He'd be standing up in his chair with two bottles of champagne in his hand, like... <laughs> just pouring it on the floor for no reason. <laughs> Why do we do that, black people? Why do we think wasting money is a sign of having money? You ever go in a club, you see a dude with a bottle of champagne just pouring it on the floor for no reason? Yeah! You see how we do it? Yeah! White guy across the room with the same bottle? What an asshole. You know why that is? It's because black people, bad with money. Bad with money, myself included. Myself included. And don't feel bad about it, black people. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's because as children, we never learned how to play Monopoly properly. <laughs> All black kids play Monopoly the same exact way growing up. Grab the dice, uh, 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 buy that shit. Yeah, buy that. Buy that right there. Yeah, buy that. Buy that right there. Buy that. Yeah, buy that. Buy it. Yeah, buy it. Buy it. Bowling! Ha <laughs> ha! White kids are taught a whole different game. They don't play like that. White kids buy all the railroads and just wait. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> and then you hit that railroad. He's like, you owe me $15,000. <laughs> Little black kid broke his head. I ain't got no more money. Go to jail, go directly to jail. <laughs> and that's how it starts. <laughs> I've been going to jail since I was 10 years old. What you in here for, little man? Boardwalk and park place. <laughs> and now in my adult life, I'm the same way. As an adult, I'm the same way. Bad with money. I have ignorant purchases all over my house. And all black people in here know what I'm talking about. Because every black person in here has a purchase in their house that they walk past every day and just look at like... <laughs> what was I thinking? In my house right now, I have a full-length green leather jacket. You think that's bad? I got a green leather hat to go with it. I got green leather boots and a green backpack. I'm walking through the hood looking like a damn Spider-Man villain. That's when I decided, no more spending for me like that. I'm gonna start being like white people. Start being like white guys. White guys don't waste money on sneakers. You know what you guys do? You buy a pair of $4 flip-flops and wear those shits everywhere. They in the supermarket. <laughs> Nightclub, same night. <laughs> They'd be in a wedding that weekend. <laughs> you know why you guys do that? Because I, I, I figured it out. White guys dress for comfort. White guys dress for comfort. White guys don't care to look good. They dress for comfort. On the list of dressing comfortable, number one, middle-aged white men. Number two, Buddhist monks. <laughs> Bottom of the list, women. Women will dress the most uncomfortable just to look good. They put a waist trainer on, they can't breathe, they put their titties up. <laughs> then you put your foot in a shoe that's shaped like this and hiked up in the back because it makes your ass and your calves look good. <laughs> that is extremely selfish, ladies, but as a man, I thank you for it because it makes your ass look amazing. And I understand it, I get it. I get it. I would walk around like this if it made my dick look bigger. <laughs> I'm walking the bar, hey ladies, how you doing? See anything you like? Enjoy the rest of the show, guys. I'm Tony Rock, have a great night. Thank you very much. Thank you.